We know where we stood and we know where we stand. But a dreamer's gotta put on his dream pants and dream about the dreams of where he will land. All right, Bert. If you're ever gonna have a shot with Megan, we gotta get you some practice talking to women. Oh, definitely. I shall acquire some new moves and thusly impress the fair maiden Megan. Okay, first lesson. Stop talking like that. Second, remember that these women don't know you. You don't have to be intimidated because they don't know how clueless you really are. Uh, I think I have some clue. Okay, well, I asked you to prepare one great opening line for tonight, so hit me with your A material. Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's, let's do some role playing. Question. In this scenario, would you describe my role as being like a, a guy? Yes. You'll be playing the role of Bert. Because I'm wondering if maybe I should play the woman, you know, to kind of help explore the mind of a woman. You can be the woman next time, okay? No. Hit me with the line. Good evening there, miss. Hi. Can I tell you a secret? Um, I guess. What would you think if I told you I'm wearing a new kind of lip balm, so intensely minty, that if I use it first thing in the morning, I don't need to brush my teeth the entire day? It totally covers up my breath, no matter how nasty it gets. Okay, so for tonight, I think I'm going to take the lead with the talking. I think I just spotted our first targets. Let's move it. Aye, aye, Captain. Excuse me, ladies. I hate to bug you, but are you in town on some kind of modeling shoot? What? No, we're waxers. You know, pits and lips. Although we're considering an expansion of our business model to incorporate crotches. And how long have you two been waxing? Angie here does the actual waxing. I'm just in charge of holding the women down. Beth's got really strong forearms. They call me the clamp. Ladies, may I ask you a question? <clears throat> Don't worry, I got it. Hypothetically, if there was a guy who, say, had an above average amount of hair growth on his lower torso region, should he be expected to have a certain level of pubic topiary hedge work happening down there? Dude. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. Ladies, would you believe I haven't had to brush my teeth in over three days? Here, smell my breath. Have we mentioned how stunning you both look tonight? Angie, your eyes are like sparkling jewels, and Beth, well, I could spend all night counting the veins in your forearms. She's like some kind of hot female Popeye. Anyway, how is it the two striking beauties like yourselves are without dates tonight? Our boyfriends decided they'd rather hang out with a bunch of dudes than with two hot chicks. And when you say hot chicks, you're referring to... Ow. You know, you look really familiar. Have you come here before? No, you probably just recognize me from TV. I'm an actor. What, like movies and crap? I'm working towards that, uh, but for now I'm focusing mainly on advertisements. You know, becoming the face of a brand, that's my real goal. Oh yeah. You're the Wachowski waterbeds guy. You play the homosexual pirate who sails the seven seas of waterbeds, pillaging prices as you go. No, it's not Wachowski waterbeds, it's Wachowski waterbed plaza. He's the homosexual merman who seduces high prices with the siren song of his conch shell. Technically, you're both right. Except the homosexual bit. I don't know where you got that in my performance. But I am an expert in waterbeds, and as a result of working on those ads, I have not one but two waterbeds at home. And I don't think it's a coincidence that there's not one but two of you. Uh, Frankie. Yes, Bert. You're invited to the waterbed party, too. I think there might be a couple problems with that plan. Don't worry. We'll get your bikini line trimmed up before things go too far. No, this is a slightly larger issue. Hey, guys. I'm Frankie Streets. You might know me as the homosexual in those local waterbed ads. 